excited to be in game week and uh been a long time since we played so excited to have the fans back and you know things somewhat back to normal from a game day atmosphere standpoint but uh more than anything you know just excited to get the season started with this staff and, and group of players we're all about winning the day and, and you know it's cliche i guess to stack days now but that's really the focus of this group and trying to be the best version uh, of ourselves as men each and every day as students, as athletes. <clears throat> you know, I've enjoyed the process of fall camp. You know, it was great to have a normal fall camp. Nice to play a night game Thursday and, and not have the sun on our necks for a day. Uh, and looking forward just to seeing them get to go out there and compete against somebody else. I know they're sick of hitting each other, but it's time to test our metal and, you know, see where we're at and what we need to work on. Uh, and what we've grown, uh, where we've grown. And it's the first opportunity and, and test uh, of the season, and we're excited, uh, excited to play a very athletic South Florida team, um, an experienced team. You know, they had a new coach last year who we're very familiar with, um, you know, when he spent all his years at Clemson and did a great job there as an offensive coordinator, and uh, they're in year two with him, and, and so, you know, I know what that's like. First year in a program is difficult, and uh, they've got a lot of players back, but they also have a lot of transfers that they've brought in. And so, you know, I know he'll have his team ready. For us, you know, I've always felt like the opening games, you're chasing a lot of ghosts, you know, particularly coming out of a COVID year um, because there's opt-outs on the team that you're playing that are back, and then there's transfers, and there's new guys and different jersey numbers, and maybe there's, you know, a handful of new coaches. But um, early in the season, I feel like, and really year round, but particularly early, and you see it in bowl games, there's some sloppy play, you know. There's a lot more games that are lost than won at the beginning of seasons. And we've made that a major focus here um, to be the best team we can. Here, we need to get out of our own way and uh, not beat ourselves, minimize, you know, pre-snap things that, that we can take off from a focus standpoint, minimize post-snap things from – emotional standpoints in a game, you know, making your layups, taking the gimmies that are there and making those routine plays and, and then really competing uh, on special teams to give ourselves an advantage. I feel like uh, our guys have worked really hard with Coach Goble in that area. And in my career and for most head coaches, I think you could say the turnover margin and explosive play battle tells a lot. And so those are major points of emphasis for us. You know, having a night game at Carter Finley, very excited for our team, for our fans uh, to be back together at home uh, on a Thursday night. Our Thursday nights have been electric and expect it to be. We need a four quarter crowd. Uh, we need it rowdy. And, you know, I hope that you're ready to do that. You know, coming back from COVID where you couldn't really be a part of our game day. I know um, it's now here and that's what makes us different. We're asking for our fan base and our student section to be a 12th man that has one thing in mind, and, and that's making life hell on the opponent and lifting the spirit of our team and, and making it hard on their team. Let's make everyone jealous uh, about how special it is here on game days.